what was causing my hearing loss. I had to go back home with uncertain about the future because I didn't even know if it was something that it was just gonna stay on my left side. Hi! For all you guys who have been part of my subscribers family for a little while, you guys know that I love making funny and happy videos. But today, today, I decided to share with you guys my hearing loss story, experience, and have been dealing with it for um, about six years or more and how am I doing today? So let's go back in the time like it was 2014. I was riding a car with friends and I received a call. So I picked my phone and I started talking to that person and the sign was not good so i told her hey uh do you think you can call me back later because it seems like the sign is not good that was what i was thinking but for some reason i decided to switch it to my right ear and the sign was good so i switched it back to my left ear and the sign was not good i switched it back again to my <laughs> right ear and the sign was perfect that was the first time when i realized that hey something is not working well here my ears are not getting it together okay after some days i decided to go to the doctor my friends also were encouraging me to but because what i thought i thought that it was something that probably i got some something in my ear that was preventing me from hearing well and it was not going to be something bigger than that i went to the doctor like a few days I, uh, like few days later after that and the doctor she was making me question the primary doctor about if i have pain or fluids and i told her no i just told her the phone call incident that was how i found out and uh, she started like looking with something i don't know the name in my ear to see inside so no pain no fluid no nothing inside my ear she referred me to an ent doctor so uh, a couple of weeks after that i was able to go to the hospital to the specialist office and the same thing she asked me the same questions i told her the same phone call story she used the same thing to look inside my ear and she found nothing so she wanted me to get a scanner and a hearing test done i did it after that i went back to her office some days after that day with all the results the scanner results the hearing test results and hoping that today i'm gonna know what is going on with my ear with my left ear um, the scanner revealed that everything was okay with my brain that was not tumor everything was okay thanks god that at least that part was i think was the main concern uh, for the doctors at that point that i was feeling no pain and anything so they wanted to you know make sure that everything was okay with my brain the hearing test did revealed that um i was losing my hearing that was my first hearing test uh, she wasn't able to give me 
any diagnosis at that moment she just gave me probabilities and her assumption was that I probably at some point in the past I got an infection but as it wasn't turned on time that it was too late I felt really frustrated because I had to go back home with no answers scared concerned that was my first frustration I got a hearing test I got a scanner and a specialist wasn't able to find what was causing my hearing loss. I had to go back home with uncertain about the future because I didn't even know no. it, it was something that it was just gonna stay on my left side. I wasn't able to get a treatment because I didn't even have a diagnosis. So it was very, very frustrating for me. Me. Tengo sueño.